Hi, this is Mrs. McPhee, and it is Thursday, November 10th, and this is a video for my pre-algebra students. Today we started day one of our objective online and angle relationships. We took some notes today on what happens when we have two parallel lines intersected by a transversal and all of the wonderful angle relationships that occur. And we had this tiny practice today you killed it in one through four. You know supplementary, you know complementary, you know vertical. And then we brought in this fun algebra connection. And then we had to do a little bit more thinking. So as promised, number six I'm gonna do for you. It says angles Q and R are supplementary, which means when I add them together, I'm gonna to get 180 degrees. If the measure of angle Q is 4X plus nine, and the measure of angle R is 8x plus 3. What is the measure of each angle? So our final answer should be angle Q and angle R, and together their sum should be 180. So what do I know? I know that if I add the two angles together, I get 180 degrees, and then I substitute it. So instead of angle Q, I put in the 4x plus 9. Instead of angle R, I put in the 8x plus 3. And now I'm gonna combine my like terms. So 4x plus 8x, not 2x. 4 plus 8 is 12x. And then I can combine my whole numbers. So 9 plus 3 is 12, and that equals 180. Now my goal here is to solve for x. So I wanna isolate the variable. I wanna undo, I kind of wanna unwrap this present. The opposite of adding 12 is subtracting. And by doing that, I'm gonna get down to 12x. But it's an equation, and I have to appreciate and value what that means. If I make a change to the left side, I have to make an equal change on the right side. So now I'm down to 12x equals 168. Okay, I'm getting there. I don't want 12 times x, I just want x. The opposite of times 12 is divide by 12. 12 divided by 12 is one, so I'll have my one x after I do the same change to keep the equal side true. I'm gonna divide 168 divided by 12. So 12 goes into 16 once, and 12 goes into 48 four times. X equals 14 degrees. Wonderful work, not our final answer, because it said, what's the measure of each angle? So back to angle Q. It said angle Q was 4x plus 9, and now instead of x, I can substitute the 14. So 4 times 14 plus 9, which is 56 plus 9, which is 65 degrees for angle Q. Angle R, sometimes students here will just subtract from 180. The problem there is if this answer is wrong, your other answer is also going to be wrong. So I always say, do the substitution, and then check your answer by seeing if your two numbers actually will have a sum of 180. So angle R was 8x plus 3, and now x is 14. So I can substitute 8 times 14 plus 3. So 8 times 14, 4 times 14 is 56. So 56 times 2. is 112 plus three. So angle R is 115 degrees. And just to be sure, this is my angle Q, if I add up 115 and 65, do I get 180, let's see, 10, what, what? It's like I know what I'm doing. Very good. We are gonna do a lot more problems similar to these. So if you don't get it, you don't get it yet, but you will just take it one step at a time. You're doing great work. I look forward to doing more of these problems with you. Have a great day, bye.